Hi, this is Paul from finishyoursong.com. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video looking at how to sidechain the Waves Vocal Rider, and there's been a couple of comments on YouTube asking if it's possible to copy the automation for the Vocal Rider to the main channel fader so that you could then remove the Vocal Rider from the channel uh, and save yourself a bit of processing power. My initial reaction was no, you can't do it because the vocal rider writes, like all plugins do, writes to its own parameter channel. But then I had to think about it and I found a way to do it. And this is how you can do it. So we've started out. This is Jessica Ripka's Thank You for Breakfast, which was the song that I used to illustrate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a bit of automation and then I'm going to remove the vocal rider and you'll actually see the channel fader here do its own thing. Now to write vocal rider automation you have to engage the read and write on the channel that you want to write the automation to in Cubase. You have to engage read, sorry you have to engage write on the vocal rider but you need to leave the vocal rider plugin open whilst you write the automation. Why? I don't know, but that's what it says in the manual. So here we go. We'll just copy the first verse and you'll see the automation being written. I bought a house and filled it with our Okay, so that's enough of that. We've now got the automation written on the Vocal Rider Fader channel. So I'll turn off all of this. I'll turn that back on so we can see what we're doing. I've set the cursor to there and I'll just highlight those. And I'm going to do Control C to copy. I'm going to move up to there and I'm going to do control V and as you can see there's the automation on the volume lane it's as simple as that so what we'll do now to prove the point is we'll turn off the vocal rider right so We've removed the vocal rider. We've got rid of the automation lane because obviously we've got rid of the plugin that it's associated with. Go back to here, press play, and lo and behold. A Now obviously, because we've transferred the automation onto the vocal lane, instead of the channel being at full pelt, it's being pulled down quite considerably. So what you'd have to do is take those and scale, no, not scale, move them vertically so that you get a more approximate vocal level. I bought a house and filled it with our So it's not without its problems and it's not as straightforward as you might want, but it's doable. And that, I think, is the workaround that I can offer. The interesting thing, of course, 
is that this wouldn't be simply confined to the vocal rider. You can cut and paste automation from one lane to another, regardless of whether the automation that you're copying and the place that you're pasting it to really makes sense. So you have a lot of creative freedom there to copy automation around between different lanes on different tracks. There you go. Until next time, take care of yourselves.